Oh, what's up, people? It's Maddie D here in the black, helping you achieve emotional, financial, and physical well-being while helping you get over your get over your emotional crap from your parents. So, today's video is all about my friends make more money, but we're not gonna talk about the mechanics, the the tactics, the strategies, investing. We're gonna start with something a lot of people don't start. That a lot of people tell you about these things bullshit. Starting with your beliefs. Now, your beliefs on money. Let's ask this question. Where do your views, perspectives, and beliefs of money come from? They come from your parents. So, what does this all mean? And, and to kind of bridge the gap for everyone who's been watching these videos, like you know, in the black thing, your parents. Your parents are the basis for pretty much everything in your life. So, how this ties into emotional, financial, financial, physical well being is this your parents, regardless if they know what they're doing or not, will give you the beliefs on how you feel about yourself. Emotional, okay, the emotional aspect, you know, how you feel about yourself, how how they see you physically, you know, how they want you to see yourself. They're, that's where the physical abundance, the physical abundance comes from, because a lot of people, you know, will have weight issues from their parents because their parents ate in un unhealthy ways, and the way they may have coped with it was, I don't know, or they've been abused, whatever it is, comes from your parents. The financial part, how your parents dealt with money has an impact on you and your subconscious mind and how you see money. If they always talk about money, you made the unconscious association of money equals argument and stress, so therefore, I can't make a whole lot. Or you made the belief that if you have, if you have a lot of money because one of your parents or both complain about how rich people are always evil, you think, oh my God, I have a lot of money. That, that means I'm angry. That, that, mean, that, mean, that means I'm bad. I'll get rid of it. It all stems from your parents, your emotional stuff, your financial beliefs, your physical beliefs, you know, physical beliefs, how you view, how you view your health, Stem some of your parents. It's all connected. So, your beliefs on money. What are they? It's how you view money. It's what you think money is. If you think money is evil, guess what? You're in a rough time trying to make more money because unfortunately right now, in this planet, you need money to live, to survive, to do things. And money's not a bad thing. It's the love of money, the root of It's love of money. That's, when you put place money above everything else is when it's an issue. Money is just simply, money is simply it's just a tool. It's energy. It's all it is. It allows you to get more things and do more. If you want to change things in the world, the more money you have, the more good you can do. Unfortunately, the way society teaches us that if you have all the money, and what happens is the people that have all the money do things that only benefit them and not society. If your person wants to build churches, go help those who are poor or whatever it is, the more money you have, the more power and influence you, you can do to help them out versus, you know, you don't want to make it 40 grand a year, you can still do some good in society only goes so far but if you were a millionaire multimillionaire or even a billionaire you could do way more for society you can but the beliefs of money the beliefs of money how you really uh, ultimately how you feel about money where your, where your beliefs stem from impact you and your your relationship with money one question you could ask yourself i've been asked is you know if money were a person how would they see you how would you treat them? You know, think of money as a best friend. Do, do, do you, if you're a person who think, if you feels money is hard to come by, imagine if money was your best friend. Do you feel like your best friend is, is, is never around, will never return? No, your best friend. What if money was like that? Would money go away, never come back to you? What if money was someone you were dating? You know, would money want to come back to you if you treat them horribly? If you, if you always thought, they always thought money would never, never, money was with someone else all the time. Questions like these make you look at your relationship to money because the way you treat money, the way you see it, is that's how it's how you're getting in life. You may be a person who gets money and goes away, or it's it, it depends, you know. But really, you gotta work on your money blocks, money beliefs. And one one simple exercise you can do that I've done is this. And here's your homework assignment: take a piece of paper from notebook, whatever, and write down all the good, the bad, the ugly that you that you how you, what you think and feel about money. How does money make you feel? Stressed, tired, overworked, happy, joy. How do you feel when you have money? How do you feel when you don't have money? Do you feel money is evil, bad? Write it all down. Do not hold back. Just stream consciousness. Just write, 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 write it all out. And look at it and go, hmm, are all these beliefs really mine? Is this mine? Where did I come up with this? Does this really make sense? Is this really true? Start questioning all the negative judgments, all the, judge, all the judgments you have about money and notice how you feel and then once you've done that you can at the end say i now destroy and uncreate all these beliefs about money you know and um it's right down let it go let it go let it go and so it is and rip it up 
or I'm sorry, fold it, rip it up, fold it a few times, then rip it up, and then flush it on the toilet or burn it. I like burning it. I'm a Leo, but we're fire signs. Probably like it. I got the new tattoo. It's probably can't see so well. There we go. Yeah, birthday present to me. But anyways, um, you got to do that, and then you know there's. You want to get to your blocks of money, how you feel, because it's all unconscious. It's stopping you from achieving the financial abundance that you deserve to have as a human being on planet Earth. We all deserve to have more, do more, be more, and everything else. So, you believe some money, as you review this video, they come from your parents, and you got to know you have to bring your unconscious beliefs to light. And the one of the simplest, easiest ways to do it is simply write down everything, how you feel about money. Make sure you have time to do this, but I've done it the good the bad the ugly man and then start forming new beliefs start feeling good like one of the best things you can do is close your eyes taking deep breaths long exhales long inhales and think about and start feeling like what would it be like if i had an extra you know two thousand bank five thousand we're making an extra five hundred a month what would i do with it what would i buy what would i pay off and really get yourself into feeling it, man. I'm telling you, do that. If you do that, things will, things start changing. So, do the exercise. Write everything that you, how you feel about money, and start to put yourself in a place where you literally are imagining the feeling of having the money you need and how the relief you feel, how good it feels. Start doing that. Something small, small stuff that makes a big difference. Do that. All right. So, with all that being said and done, hope you like this video. Comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. Like it and. Subscribe to the newsletter. If you do that, I'll give you a free coaching session. The links are below in uh, the description. That being said, my friend, get it black. Peace.